Just wanted to do a quick video showing the IKEA Millsbo. Uh, I think that's how you pronounce it. It's a, a cabinet I bought recently and I've been putting uh, lighting in it and trying to dust proof it. I've also got some uh, custom backdrops uh, printed out on uh, eBay. Got a seller to do uh, some custom backdrops. Uh, I've done two shells Star Wars and two shells Marvel. It's uh, got my Hot Toys figures inside. Still need to buy some more. I've also got the Hot Toys light box powered by a mini power bank. The uh, backdrops are all the same uh, width, which is 65 centimeter. But the top shelf is a uh, 37 centimeter high, and the last three shelves are 35.5 centimeter. It's just because of the uh, the shelving, the top. It's just the uh, brackets there. So it sort of slots slots in place. You can just use like a bit of blue tack behind it, and just sort of uh, blue tack it to the glass. But it uh, looks pretty good once it's set up. I mean, I'm still missing some uh, figures and stuff, so it looks a pretty, looks a bit empty. But you can see uh, the lighting at the bottom there. I've also got Hot Toys light box there at the bottom. But I bought the uh, LED strip light, which is a uh, Bluetooth uses the phone, and it goes all around the uh, top here and the sides. So uh, it's, you can just stick it onto the metal and it just it hides the lights. You can see at the top there, and like it's reflecting off the glass. So the only bit of the light that you see is at the, uh, the bottom, the strip light at the bottom, and all the rest is hidden behind the metal. And then I've also done uh, some dust proofing. I bought um, a thing on eBay which is called Brush Pile. This costs, uh, see if I can focus it. It's the same material they have on uh, door frames and uh, windows. But what you do is just stick it on the top and the sides where the doors close because there's a gap on the doors. So if you just put it across the top and the sides, it sort of bridges the gap when the doors close. And you don't really need any at the bottom because the doors sort of slot in place there. So it's, it's a pretty uh, tight fit at the bottom there. So you don't really need any dust proof at the bottom. And then for the doors, I bought a three millimeter foam that you just stick on the doors. See if I can focus there. So when you close the door, the wire at the top there for the lights, I've seen other videos where they drill a hole at the bottom of the cabinet in the metal and they put the wires through the bottom. But there's a gap here, so you don't really need to do that. You can just put the wire at the top and then the door still close and the wire's fine. You don't need to drill any holes in it or anything like that. You can see there. And when you close the doors, there's still a bit of a gap. Let's see if I can show it. Uh, there's still a little bit of a gap. It's not as bad as it was. I mean, you could probably buy some other thickness foam, like one millimeter, and put three millimeter on one side, one on the other, or just buy a, a thicker foam, four millimeter or something like that. But the gap can be different depending on like the flooring, like if it's on wood flooring or carpet flooring, the gap can be a can be different depending on if the cabinet's like tilting or anything like that.
but it does look pretty good once you've set it all up with the backdrops. I mean, I got them on uh, eBay, but you can uh, probably get it from other other sellers. I just basically sent him a picture I wanted and the size, and he just cut them out to size and then sent them to me. But if you have the right size, and you can uh, get them looking looking pretty good. But yeah, that's how I did a uh, dust, dust briefing and lighting. Got some custom backdrops. Hope you enjoyed the video.